Uh, Susan, Susan Del Percio. Hi. Uh, good morning. You, you mentioned Medicaid for all. You talk about a check on the on the Trump administration, but you're running for governor of Vermont. So. Be, you also have a lot of really expensive proposals. You have taxpayer-funded elections. Um, connect every home and business with fiber optic cable. Increase education spending. You have a lot of that all sounds really good. But as the governor of Vermont, how do you plan on paying for it? Well, you should know that's the Republican rhetoric as well. No, it's the a question. Action, it costs action, a hang, lot of money. Hang, 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 <laughs> hang on. Let me that's answer, the, let me answer your question. Let me answer your question. Connecting every home and business with fiber on the plan that I have actually costs less than the way it's done today. Your infrastructure costs are actually built into your bill. I have a plan that's going to cost less than today. When it comes to Medicare for all, we're all paying for that. We're paying 18 cents of every gross domestic product dollar on health care. And, 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 you know, the other uh, the, uh, European countries spend eight to nine cents and, and cover everybody. We are already paying the most expensive health care cost in the nation. W Medicare for all is significantly less expensive. In Vermont, we spend 31 cents of every health care dollar on administration cost. Medicare is five cents. That's Republican rhetoric. It's cheaper to get Medicare for all than any other system that they've proposed. Okay. But on all of your proposals, I see increase in spending. Where are you going to have the funds? And that's not Republican rhetoric. As a governor, you have to balance a budget. So how are you going to provide all of the services, whether it's in education or the economy, all the growth things that you talk about, how will you fund it without raising taxes? Or will you let raise also, taxes? Let me also point out that the, the Republican agenda to get no. to private schooling is more expensive. Everything the Republicans are proposing is more expensive. Ma'am, that's, 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 that's just hang throwing on. political rhetoric around. I'm asking for real No, a real no, no, no. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Uh, hang on. Uh, our governor talks about our, our declining population. We connect every home and business with fiber optic cable and a plan to grow the economy. We're going to grow our economy. We have to put more food on the table. Otherwise, we're just fighting over the scraps. There's a big contrast here. I have a plan to grow economy so we have more revenue to do what we need. I know how to keep costs down. I ran an electric utility and we didn't have, we have kept our rates flat for five years. But a good business person knows you can cost control yourself right out of business. So a good business person has a plan to grow the economy. What we're seeing here nationally and locally is a, a tax gimmick saying no new taxes. That's a gimmick because what's happening, those we're kicking costs down the road. All right, Christine Hallquist, thank you very much. And just uh, for our viewers' information, Morning Joe reached out to Governor Phil Scott's campaign to have him on for an interview. And so far, his campaign has not responded. Um, time now for uh, final thoughts. Uh, Noah Rothman, we'll begin with you. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm struck by that interview, and Susan did an excellent job probing that issue. Um, single payer is the watchword of the day on, on the Democratic side, and it seems to be that everybody appreciates this as a statement of principles. But it's not the Republican governor that's the obstacle in Vermont, it's the state's legislature, which stripped language from an appropriations bill, or the uh, appropriations committee stripped language from this bill, saying that they could do this because it's just not feasible. Um, we're not getting to the nits and nuts and bolts of what the democratic approach to health care is, but we will soon, and they better have better answers than that.